hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, my name is sophia if this is your first time in my channel stopping by i appreciate it you're highly welcome um thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching this video i hope you do find it helpful if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up okay guys welcome back all my old subscribers i welcome you i appreciate you all welcome back my new subscribers welcome thank you i appreciate you all for stopping by i hope you do enjoy watching my videos yeah guys so today i'm going to be sewing the peplum blouse i've shown you the cutting so today i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to sew it together i already have them here okay guys so let's get into this video <laughs> Okay guys, remember I pinned the bottom part of the blouse, which is the peplum. Remember I pinned it together. I showed you in the cutting video. I pinned it together. So I've thread my machine. I got white thread here because I think white thread will be okay for this. So I've pinned it together already. Remember this blouse does not have a dart. So it's a simple straightforward blouse, which you can wear with trousers, leggings, skirts and anything else okay guys so this is the front i'm working with first i'm working with the front first you can see the v-neck v-neck is there so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to just sew the peplum and the top part together remember i left one inch sewing allowance so i'm going to sew half an inches here the remaining half an inches i'm going to join it together at the shoulder here with the back okay so when i'm sewing in some part of the video i might not be saying anything so i might put a music okay guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i hope you guys do see what see what i'm sewing sorry i hope you see what i'm sewing i try to position the camera in a way you can see it but it's quite difficult to position it properly Okay, so your needle down. Always put your needle down on your fabric. And then you are going to sew half an inches, okay? So you are going to back stitch. Make sure you back stitch. When you're sewing a stretchy fabric, sometimes the fabric can get caught in the machine. So what you do, you just bring it out. And then you continue to sew again. Sometimes I use a different foot. I use different foot sometimes. This is called a foot. Sometimes I use a different foot for sewing stretchy fabric. I like to use my walking foot. It's quite steady. As you sew, you take off your things. Thank you. 
okay guys so I've stitched it together now as you can see it's not one I've stitched it together I hope you guys can see I'll stitch it together okay so that's the wrong side of it that's the wrong side half an inch if you don't know half an inch just mark it out first before you sew it okay if you can't eyeball half an inch okay so i'm going to do the same to the back as well so you just do the same thing to the back Okay guys, so I've stitched the back together as well, so you can see, stitch it together, okay, so now I'm going to be doing the facing, okay, the facing, so I take the, the back facing, because I'm working with the back, So that's the back facing you're going to put right side to right side right side to right side like this and take your pins and pin them together so that it doesn't move when you're sewing it because this is stretchy fabric there's a chance it will move when you start to sew so the best is to pin it together so it doesn't move So you're just going to pin it properly and then you're going to sew half an inch okay guys that's all you need to do so i'm still pinning Okay guys, so I've stitched the facing to the back. Now I'm going to understitch it. 
what I mean by on the stitch is I take I open it out I open the facing out like this and I'm going to put the wrong side this part here I'm going to stitch it to the facing so when I turn it in it stay flat so that's what I mean by on the stitch You are sewing stretch fabric, try not to stretch the fabric. If not, everything is going to stretch out of shape. So when you are sewing a stretch fabric, try not to pull the fabric too much. If not, it's going to stretch out of shape. Okay, so I've understitched it. So when I turn it like this, it stays inwards properly. Because I don't want the facing to be showing outward every time. So when I finish, I'm supposed to iron, but my iron is not here. Just use a light, warm iron because this fabric has tendency to melt. But if it's cutting, if you are using cutting to sew, you need to iron it, okay? So I will do that later. I don't have my ironing board here. My iron is not here, close by. So yeah, so this is the back. So I'm going to do the same with the front one as well okay guys so you can see it so i'm going to do the same with the front one so this is the front one remember right side to right side so you take the v point to the v point here Take your two V point together, take your pin and pin it. Just like so. Okay. Pin it in such a way you can easily remove the pin when you are sewing. And then I'm going to pin the top here as well. Do the same to the other side. Pin it in such a way you can easily take out the pin when you are sewing. Okay guys, so I've pinned it now, so I'm going to sew it now. We are going to sew half an inches, okay? When you get to the V point, I don't know if the camera can see it. Let me see if I can move the camera. When you get to this V point here, you need to put your needle down. Leave the needle on the fabric before you lift the presser foot. Okay. So just gently so you don't sew your pin. You don't want to break your needle. So you lift the presser foot. I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope you can see it. 
let's bring the camera sorry i'm shaking the camera so this is the viewpoint where my finger is touching the viewpoint is there so my needle is right down on the fabric so you are going to rotate the fabric okay guys so you can see i'm going to rotate the fabric like that so that the v shape can come out okay so just so you can get the v properly sometimes another tip you can go down slightly if you don't mind your v to be more v so sometimes i go down a little bit so i just sew just a little there and then i rotate the fabric Make sure your needle is done when you are doing this. You don't want to remove your needle unless you know what you are doing. If you don't know what you are doing, please don't remove your needle. Make sure your needle is on the fabric. Now you can put the presser foot down and sew your V. Okay, so if you see properly, can you see my V? That's the V there. So I just take my scissors. I'm going to cut into the V. Just so that the V can lay flat properly. Don't cut to where you stitch. Can you see what I've done there? I just cut a little. Don't cut where you've already stitched already. Sometimes you can back stitch here just to reinforce the stitch okay but well, that's all you need to do and then you can turn it in you can turn it in but i'm going to before i turn it in i'm going to do the same what i did to the back i'm going to understitch understitch it okay so don't forget when you get to the v point leave your needle there before you turn okay guys just so the video is not too long i'm going to do this off camera and i'll come back and show you guys Okay, guys, so I've sewn the V neck. Can you see? Try not to stretch the fabric so it doesn't stretch out of shape. Okay, guys, so I've sewn it. That's the V point there. So you can see the V has come out. Once you leave your needle down there, the V should come out. You just stitch a bit, little bit down. You leave your needle where my finger is. You turn your fabric and sew the V shape. Okay, guys, so I have understitched it. So you can see the wrong side here. I've understitched it and I've torn it out. So the next thing I'm going to do now, remember this glass doesn't have a dart. So what you can do next, if you want, you can hem it first. You can even leave the hem like this because it's not going to free if you like. Okay, you can leave the hem without even turning it. It's not going to free, but I'm going to hem it. But before I hem it, I'm going to join the shoulder. I'm going to join them on the shoulder so the back and front together we're going to be joining them at the shoulder point so we're going to be doing right side to right side there are different ways of joining shoulders you can either open this facing out you can either open the facing out right side to right side so sometimes what we do is we open the facing out and join them from the facing so that when you finish stitching it the facing will act like as if it's covering the raw edges that's another way of if you know how to do that if you don't know how to do that just do the normal one which is this one Put the facing in properly take them at the shoulder points like this shoulder point like this take your pin and pin it 
remember you are going to sew half an inch okay there are other ways as well to do this there is another method of doing this where the, this i swear a stitch the other way but i'm not going to show you that today i'm going to get confused so let's show you the simple one this is a simple one which is just pinning the right side the back to the front right side to right side can you see that right side to right side and then you just pin it there this is the quickest easiest method of joining your shoulders so you just pin it to make sure that when you're sewing it doesn't move especially when you're sewing a stretch fabric like this one okay so just pin it and take it to your machine and stitch it half an inch okay half an inch You can always reline it if you feel it doesn't match properly. Just reline it until you feel that it's matched the way you want. And then you pin it again. And then you stitch. Okay guys, so I've joined them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to restitch it again. I'm going to restitch it again just to make sure it's strong there. So I'm going to just re reinforce it again. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it on this the other side. I swear and I'll come back and show you guys. Okay guys, so I've stitched the shoulders. So you can see i've done it on both sides okay i stitched the shoulders so now i'm going to be stitching the sides together just take the side remember the side is one inch seam allowance on the side so these are the side i'm starting from one side you can see that this is the side Okay, so there's one inch allowance here, so I'm going to sew the one inch all the way down there on both sides. Okay. If you want, you can sew a little bit less than one inch. If you want the blouse to be a bit free, you can sew a little less. You can sew less than an inch. Okay. So I'm just going to take my measurement tape. And just mark one inch so I can try and follow the one inch line which is there and use my shock and follow the one inch line if possible sometimes you saw exactly one inch sometimes you saw a little less So as I'm sewing, when I get to the waist here, I'm going to open the seam out. I'll open the seam out so it lies flat when I finish sewing it. If you don't want to open your seam out, you can just leave it like this. Or use it to face up maybe I should do that I think I'll just use the seam make sure the seam match each other at the waistline okay make sure they are matching each other here 
sometimes we stretch fabric they tend to want to stretch out of place so you can use the pin to hold it just try your best to make sure that the seam matches each other at the waistline okay so i use the pin to hold it try not to sew on the pin so you don't break your machine needle okay so i'm just going to try and check to make sure that the seam at the waistline is the same as the one at the bottom just using my finger to feel it i'm going to take out the pin sometimes you get it right sometimes you don't let's hope we've got it right let's see okay so when you have a problem like this you can just lose the seam and restitch it it's just a little bulge there let's see if we've got the side to that was very close can you see that just a little tiny bit just a little bit jump okay that happens when you're sewing the other side i might get the other side perfectly okay if I want to get it perfectly okay, you just lose it. You take your seam reaper, you lose it. When you lose it, you just try to mash it again so that it boots, so that it can mash properly at the waist. Can you see just a little bit jump there? Just a little bit there. That normally happens when you're sewing a stretch fabric, okay? So don't be too hard on yourself. It happens to everybody. So I will just take my seam ripper and lose it and correct it. Okay, guys? And then I'm going to sew the other side and I'll come back. Okay, guys. So I'm back. Okay? So I've corrected it. As you can see, it looks good, isn't it? Yeah, so I've joined them properly at the waistline. I've corrected it so nice. Mashes very well. I don't know if you guys can see it. Where my finger is. I've done the same and the other side as well you can see that it matches very well over here as the wrong side okay so sometimes what I do is I backstitch it to reinforce the stitch from stopping it from coming apart so I'm going to reinforce the stitch here and of course okay so I'm going to do that I'll do that off camera but I just want to show you guys that I've stitched it completely. So now what is left now, that's the ham hole. Okay, guys, so I've joined everything. This one goes inside. I've joined everything. So what is left now is to, to join the sleeve. Just to join the sleeve. Okay, I've joined everything. So I'm going to be joining the sleeve. If I join the sleeve, I'll hem the sleeve first. I just fold the salvage edge because I left the salvage edge, which is this white bit here. I'll fold it over like that and then I'll stitch it. Just so you guys can see what I mean. I just fold it over, take it to the machine. I'm going to just hem it.
because this is a stretchy fabric you don't really have to overlock it okay it's not going to fray the fabric won't fray if it's a fabric that fray then you need to overlock it if it's a fabric that frays then you will need to overlock or zigzag the edge but this particular fabric does not fray okay so i've hemmed it so i'm going to do the same to this one as well and then afterwards just so the video is not becoming too long once i finish hemming the second one i'll fold it right side to right side again like that and then i will just stitch from here half an inches and just stitch half an inches from here to this point from here to this point on both sleeve then i'll come and join it okay guys so i have joined the sleeve together can you see that I've joined it i've torn it out okay so that's the sleeve so what you are going to do before you attach your sleeve just at the tip of the sleeve you can see that is the sleeve just so you can see it so this is the end of the sleeve here sleeve cap so what you will do is just take your scissors fold it into two just put a little notch here okay just put a little notch there because as you can see i've pinned this one together right side to right side i've used the pin to hold it all the way around okay so the part that you notch is going to go you can see this one i notched it a little here so the part that you notch that's the part that's going to go to the shoulders okay so this is the shoulder here this is the shoulder so this is the point you open the the um allowance open the seam allowance out you take the notch edge to match the shoulder here and then you take a pin and pin it so that when you stitch it it will match okay so that's what i've done i've put a notch so i'm going to just pin the other one as well so at the moment this is the right side of the blouse so i'm just going to get my pins so my pins there so what i do is i take the bottom part of the sleeve this is the bottom part of the sleeve open the seam out i take it and this is the side of the sleeve here the side of the blouse okay so i take it match them together open the seam out match them together so you take the pin and you pin it pin it is such a way you can easily take out the pin when you're sewing okay so now after i've done that i'm not going to turn the wrong side can you see my hand inside the blouse i'm going to now flip the wrong side out okay and the sleeve is in there Can you see where I pinned the sleeve? So there's the sleeve there. So what you can do, you can take the pin out and just readjust it properly again. And then you pin it. Okay, pin it is such a way you can easily take out the pin when you are sewing. Okay. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Don't forget to share this video. Give it a thumbs up subscribe comment if you haven't subscribed already subscribe comment and share the video so someone else can learn how to sew this simple blouse so this is where i've notched just take it and match the edge of the shoulder okay please guys subscribe give this video a big thumbs up so that youtube can recommend it subscribe for more videos like this if you like this video share it subscribe and comment give it a thumbs up so that other people can see it as well okay guys so now you can pin your sleeve around try not to stretch the fabric too much so that the sleeve does not stretch out of shape so you just put your pin use the pin to hold it so this particular blouse is good for beginners it's quite straightforward this sewing method 
it's quite straightforward if you are learning how to sew doesn't require so much um detailing sewing and it's quite straightforward for you to understand so that you can easily learn to sew the more you sew the more you learn the better you get at sewing so i'm just going to pin it around okay guys Okay, so I've pinned it. Okay, guys, so I've pinned it round. So now I'm going to stitch. I'm going to be stitching it. I hope you guys can see. Try to bring the camera as close as I can. So you can start your stitching anywhere you like. I normally start from the underarm which is the armpit area which is this point here i like starting from that point you can start any point you like just so half an inches all the way around okay guys so half an inches all the way around okay guys Okay guys, so I've stitched the both sleeves, as you can see, I've stitched them on both sides, half an inch, I've stitched it, as you can see, on both sides, okay, so this is the sleeve when you turn it out, there's the sleeve, hope you guys can see it properly, put it in the machine so you can see. There's the sleeve. Don't know if you guys can see it properly. But there's the sleeve. Okay. So I've attached both of the sleeve. It's looking really pretty. Okay. So now, if you are going to like sell this outfit, if you want to sell it, you will need to overlock the raw edges so it's neater. But this is for myself. I'm not selling it. Okay. I'm going to be wearing it myself. So what I'm thinking of doing next i'm thinking of putting a decorative stitch on the neck just on the front my machine has some decorating stitch i might decide to put a decorative stitch later in the front i may not okay but anyway i've added both of the sleeves as you can see perfectly well no bulging anywhere okay so there's the sleeve done 
I'll stitch it now perfectly well okay so the next thing now is to hem it is to hem the bottom parts of the blouse okay so remember i said i was going to reinforce the waistline here so i'm going to do that first before i hem it okay i just reinforce it so that it doesn't come apart so it doesn't lose when it's being washed that's it and do the same to the other side so you can do that if you are using a stretch fabric to sew because sometimes when you are sewing with a stretch fabric sometimes the stitches can jump because of the nature of the fabric please give this video a thumbs up subscribe comment like to see more video please and share it guys share it please thank you Okay, so I've reinforced it just to give it a firm stitch. So you guys can see that the blouse, the blouse is almost ready. Okay. So let's hem it now. Open the seam out and just fold. You can fold half an inch or you can fold one inch. It's up to you. But make sure you've put the same allowance already before you do that. So I'm going to just hem it half an inches. I think that's okay for me. Just hem it all the way around. okay guys so i finished stitching it i finished hemming the bottom of the blouse as you can see okay okay so i've hemmed the bottom of the blouse all the way around the circle so if you like to overlock your clothes you can if you have the overlock machine you can overlock the edge okay if not, you can use your machine to do a zigzag stitch on the raw edge, but I'm not going to do that because this is mine and it's not going to fray. So the only thing that is left for me now is to press the neck and the blouse is done. It's finished, guys. So I'm going to put it on the dummy. I'll put it on the dummy so that you guys can see the finished outfit and I'll take some pictures so you guys can see the pictures on the thumbnail. Okay guys, so the blouse is finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope this video wasn't too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment, share it, subscribe for more videos. Turn on your notification bell. You want to turn the one that said all. Oh, that's the one you want to turn on. Okay, the one you turn on and the thing go gray. So turn it on guys, turn it on please subscribe watch my other video just to encourage me support me check out my website for fabrics um jewelries bags okay guys 
I post world word wide. Okay, yeah, guys. So if you don't understand anything, please leave a comment and I will be happy to answer your question. Okay, guys, so that's my V neck. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video and I'll try and do another sewing tutorial. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye. Oh, before we go, guys, let's put it on the dummy so you can see it on the dummy. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, so that's it on the dummy. I'm going to put it on and take a picture. So this dummy is a little smaller than me. That's why you can see it properly. It looks big on the dummy. But anyway, this is it here. Okay, guys, so I'll put it on so you guys can see it on the picture, on the thumbnail. Okay, guys? Okay, so that's it. Okay, guys, catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys.